They're off in the Kentucky Derby. What's going on, everybody? Mike Somich coming at you for RacingDudes.com. Here with another Kentucky Derby Contenders capsule. This time, we're here to talk about Disarm. Currently sitting 17th in the standings with 46 points. Sources trained by Steve Asheson, owned by Winchell Thoroughbreds, and we're going to be ridden by Joel Rosario on the first Saturday in May. Disarm literally snuck into the Kentucky Derby field with a third-place finish in the Lexington last time out, getting those 10 points and moving up just enough to beat out Jace's Road for that last spot. Now we've had a couple defections, so Jace's Road is in as well. But that was a big third place there for Disarm last time in the Lexington. And when you go back and you watch that race, and really if you want to point to a positive for Disarm, it's the pace of the last two races. Disarm was able to run fairly well in both the Louisiana Derby and the Lexington. Ends up running second in the Louisiana Derby, third in the Lexington, behind what were really, really slow paces. And specifically, if you go back to that that Louisiana, or Louisiana Derby, they went 114-3 and three for six furlongs. That's one of the slowest paces we have seen in any Kentucky Derby prep since the addition of the point standings. That pace was almost impossible to close into. Uh, that day, you saw Kings Barnes go gate to wire. Disarm was the only horse that really made up any ground at any point in that race, was able to get up into second and close some of the gap on Kings Barnes. However, that next race in Lexington, a little bit disappointing, but again, was kind of behind it because that day, Arabian Lion got out to a very easy lead up front. You saw uh, your eventual winner there, First Mission, able to make a move, but First Mission came from second, and at that point, Disarm was sitting in sixth. So it's hard for a horse to be able to close into these slow of paces. So if you like Disarm and you think the pace is going to be a little bit hotter, you could definitely see this horse make a number, or get hit the board at quite an interesting price. For me, though, this is just a scenario that I don't love. I don't love Joel Rosario, specifically on a closer, in this big of a field, in a spot where I really wish Disarm was sitting five lengths off the lead. And I have a feeling he's going to be seven, eight, 10, 12 lengths off the lead going into that first turn. And that's just a recipe for trouble in a race that doesn't project to have a smoking pace up front. Now, if there is a hot pace up front, Disarm is a contender to be able to win this race. I'm not sure you're going to get the pace that you need for Disarm to be able to get in that position. And this is a horse that is 100% pace dependent. But if you go back to that Louisiana Derby and you watch that effort, it's a solid, solid race from Disarm, considering how slow that pace was early. So the big question here for Disarm, what's the pace going to be like? And where is Joel Rosario going to position this horse? To me, this is one of the more important horses from a draw perspective. Disarm all the way on the outside or all the way on the inside is a big problem. This horse needs to be sitting somewhere between that four and 10 spot to really have a shot at contending here. For me, there's just too many question marks to put Disarm in that top four spot. So I'll be leaving him off my trifecta and superfecta tickets. However, I do respect Disarm. And if this horse gets a pace, I will be worried that Disarm is going to be one of those horses running late and able to hit that try or the super. Thank you very much for checking out this capsule on Kentucky Derby contender Disarm. Make sure you check out YouTube backslash Racing Dudes for capsules on every one of the Kentucky Derby entrants. And make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. We'll be live on Friday, Oaks Day, and live Saturday, Derby Day, right up until the race. So make sure you join us there. Good luck, and we'll see you at the track. RacingDudes.com is your home for the best free picks for every race, every track across the country. We're ramping up for the 2023 Kentucky Derby, and we want you to join us in the fun. Subscribe to Racing Dudes' YouTube channel, like click the notification bell so you never miss a single video. Want to make money betting horses? Bet with the Racing Dudes.